Remind me next time to wash my car. This thing is filthy, but it'll have to wait. In this video, I'm gonna give you a grand tour of the second busiest street in Mobile, Alabama. It's called Schillinger. Now be careful, that's not Schillinger's with an S, but all the locals know it's Schillinger. So let's dive in and check out Schillinger Road and all it has to offer. Hey, my name is Jeff Jones with Keller Williams right here in the beautiful city of Mobile. Now I'm standing in front of Briquette Steakhouse and oh, let me tell you, this place has a special place in my heart. I love it so much. It's one of the places you definitely have to check out. But people are calling me all the time. They're texting me, they're sending me emails and they wanna know the details of what it's really like moving to the city of Mobile. So call the number on the screen, um, you know, give me a shout out, shoot me a text message, any way you wanna reach out, I'll be happy to connect with you and help you because moving can be a process and I wanna take care of all the details. So we're gonna start the journey on Schillinger. We're gonna go all the way down south and Schillinger has a lot of shopping, a lot of restaurants, a lot of details and then we're gonna come back to this place and go all the way up north. A lot of different places will be along the way. But don't forget, like and subscribe because you don't wanna miss out every every time we drop a new video. I'm doing new videos every single week and you don't wanna miss it, so let's dive in. So we are officially leaving the Briquettes parking lot, heading south on Schillinger, and we're crossing over the busiest intersection ever. This is Airport Boulevard, and if you go north, or excuse me, if you go west, that's the airport, and if you go east, that is downtown. So in this corner, you're gonna find Chipotle, you're gonna find a Hobby Lobby, a Rouse's grocery store, by the way, I love Rouse's, it's kind of a regional thing from Louisiana. And then right here, this uh, corner, you've got Moe's, you've got Starbucks, you've got Dodge's gas station. Uh, I mean, it's just so, there are so many things to do here. Of course, you've got the Gospel Bird, Chick-fil-A, and the famous Palmer's Airport Toyota. I bought, uh, I bought, in, I think, two cars here. And so we love that place. And then again, uh, again, competing with Starbucks, you've got your Dunkin' Donuts, PetSmarts, Ulta, and only in Alabama, check this out, you have an Alabama store and Auburn store combined. So there's that rivalry. Um, there's just so much to cover. You've got Walmart, or should I say Super Walmart. You've got your Popeye's chicken. Um, this is the play you do not want to come on this street uh, during Christmas or Black Friday after Thanksgiving. It's just crazy. But hey, it's more convenient than going all the way downtown or down by the interstate. So it's very popular. We've got Home Depot. You've got Panera Bread, Target, or as the more refined folks would say, Target. And then my favorite place to shop, coming up here on the left, 90% of my wardrobe comes from Kohl's. I love this place. And if you're looking for furniture, across the street from Kohl's, you've got Hank's Fine Furniture. He runs these regional commercials. He does a great job. And then of course, Another great Mexican place is San Miguel. There's just so many places. In fact, I want to turn in real quick into a newly uh, new development. It's um, like an apartment complex uh, called The Cottages uh, at Schillinger Point. So we're going to show you what living can be like in terms of rental uh, on Schillinger, actually. They're brand new, they're really nice, and you have the movie theater in your back door. So this is a brand new area. Um, it even has parking, like garage parking, super nice. I have a friend who just moved in here and they love it. You talk about convenience, you're not gonna get any more convenient than this. So as we pull out, we're getting back on Schillinger and I forgot to mention one of my favorite places just behind me on Schillinger is Cracker Barrel. The great thing about Cracker Barrel, it is 100% consistent. Everywhere you go, you're gonna get the same thing. Then you've got a Jeep dealership. This is brand new in Mobile. It just opened up in the last few months. And then across the street from the Jeep dealership, you have something called the ABBA Shrine Center. And this is a place where they have a lot of events like uh, gun shows and uh, antique um, festivals or uh, straw. I think they even had like a chocolate festival there. So some places there and another apartment complex right here on Schillinger. So you can live on one of the busiest streets, have great access to everything, and uh, it's super, super convenient. Now we're crossing over another street that Siri cannot get to save her life. 
I've tried to type it or I've tried to speak it, she messes it up. It's called Grelot. Not Green Lot or Grelo or whatever, but it's Grelot. Now, Grelot runs um, east to west and it is parallel to Airport Boulevard and it's in between Airport and Cottage Hill. It's very convenient. Sometimes you can take Grelot kind of as a faster route if you're out in West Mobile and you want to head east, headed down toward University. I take it almost every day. Now as we get close to another major intersection, Cottage Hill, you see another one of my favorite places. It's a pizza place. It's called Mellow Mushroom. Um, I think it's probably light on the enunciation, just Mellow Mushroom, but love that place. It's got great pizza. And then across the street, a good buddy of mine actually owns a gym, uh, just Braxton uh, Gilbert Fitness, and they do a lot of great things there. Of course, you've got plenty of pharmacies, you've got Walgreens, but over here, you've got McDonald's, you've got Waffle House, you've got Goodwill. So this is what typically happens for folks in West Mobile. They have a yard sale on a Saturday, and then they're wrapping up about noon, and then my wife will say, hey, what time does Goodwill close? And then I'll call them and I'll see they're open till four or five, and then bam, we uh, take the rest to Goodwill and they take care of it. Okay, so crossing over Cottage Hill, very, very busy road. You've got your water burger, but then in this parking lot is Mobile's iconic chicken finger brand. Yes, it, we are famous for chicken fingers in Mobile, the one and only Fusaklis. It is a great place. And another thing about Mobile is there are a lot of churches, like a lot of churches. So we've passed several on the way. You've got another one here on the right. And one thing you'll notice, now we're starting to leave the congested area. We're starting to see more land. There are a lot of houses in this area that have like an acre of land. Some of them have more. And you know, of course, you've got your traditional neighborhood. But in West Mobile, off of Schillinger, you can buy a house with a half an acre, an acre or more, and it's just amazing how far a dollar will go with the prices of housing in Mobile. It's crazy. As we keep heading south, people like, you know, they want a little breathing room. That's, I guess that's the bulk of the calls I get. People want kind of have their own place, a little breathing room. There's still a lot of places available out here. Uh, lots of very well-established neighborhoods and there's still new construction going on as well. So you can find a variety of homes out in the Schillinger area. Now we're approaching Three Notch Road. And this is, you know, Three Notch kind of connects if you head uh, west, or excuse me, if you head east, it's gonna connect down to uh, Tillman's Corner, which of course can take you out to the interstate. But if you, if you can imagine where we are right now, we're only about 30 minutes away from Dolphin Island. Now I did a video on Dolphin Island. I'll try and link that below as well, but amazing beaches. So you can be living in your home on Schillinger out in West Mobile, wake up and say, hey, I wanna go to the beach. Hop in your car, 30, 40, 45 minutes later, be at the beach, hanging out. It is a super fast day trip. And there aren't a lot of places that you can be that close to the beach and have housing that is as reasonable and the prices are crazy cheap in this area considering how close you are to the beach. So Schillinger actually changes names and converts to Theodore Dawes Road. And Theodore Dawes takes you on towards the interstate. We're gonna actually go all the way to the interstate, which is I-10, and I'll show you how that connects. But there's some truck stops and you know, a lot of traffic in that area because, I mean, it's I-10. It's, it's one of the busiest interstates in the entire country. And in Mobile, Alabama, a lot of people don't know this, but two of the largest interstates uh, that take you from coast to coast, north to south, they intersect in Mobile. That's I-10 and I-65. So we just passed over old Pascagoula Road and it has a lot of uh, a lot of things going on. You've got a Walmart neighborhood market, but we're approaching the truck stops and it kind of is letting you know this is the interstate in this area. So we just passed over the interstate, I-10, and uh, now we're gonna turn around, we're gonna head back the other direction, and we're gonna go, gonna go all the way back to Briquettes and start over there to give you the north side and talk about what's located there. So we're gonna turn around here and uh, start the journey heading the other direction. And right next to I-10, you'll see there's the pilot uh, truck stop. So lots of traffic in and out with trucks there, but it's on I-10, it's a busy section, 
And I guess people get excited when they see that. If they're coming from Louisiana, they know they're almost through Alabama, heading on the way to Florida, because there's a lot of folks that travel that, and they're on their way to Disney World. Speaking of that, I'd like to go there myself. All right, so we're going into a neighborhood. When you think of residential neighborhoods off Schillinger, this is one that's very popular, Woodbridge. And these houses are gonna range, I wanna say in the 250 to 320 range, but this is what you would consider like a normal neighborhood in West Mobile off Schillinger. So you got great location, um, just a great area. We actually have, uh, we have a family friend that lives in this area and they love it. So here you go. Here's a look at uh, an average neighborhood on Schillinger. And once again, we're crossing over the busy street, Airport Boulevard, and we're passing briquettes again. Oh, the ribeye, oh man, such great memories. I love that place. So we've got what's called the home, or excuse me, at home. Man, anything you want to find as to do with home decorations can be found in that store. But also across the street, we've got Lowe's, which happens to be my favorite place. I'm not saying I don't love Home Depot, but I just prefer Lowe's. But if Lowe's is too busy, or if I don't have time to go to Lowe's, then you can go to Home Depot across the street. Now, another thing I mentioned in my Airport Boulevard video, Checkers was actually started in Mobile, Alabama. And if you don't know about Checkers, they have some of the best fries you will ever, ever eat. Absolutely amazing. Now, for any bowling enthusiasts, we have a bowling lane in West Mobile, the AMF Bowling Company. Um, I will say that I love to bowl. I don't get to do it very often, but I did bowl a 209 one time, and I'd say as an amateur, that's pretty good. Okay, one of the things that Schillinger is famous for is the flea market. And on Saturday and Sunday, man, this place is packed. So over here on the left, and they even have church at the flea market. Like, it is a whole thing. You can go there, you can find anything and everything imaginable. And of course, you know, we're getting a little more rules, so you've got your tractor supply company there. We're coming up on the intersection. Let's see if I can make it. We're crossing over Ziegler. Now, if you take Ziegler out west, it takes you to Faith Academy, which is right off the road. It's a great private Christian school. And then you've got a Winn-Dixie grocery store right there at the corner. Uh, one of the things that Mobile is famous for is it seems like we have a Dollar General like on every block. So there you go, Dollar General. Okay, Howells Ferry Road. Now Howells Ferry takes you east and west, takes you way out that way. Now we're getting into the section of Schillinger. I don't want to call this no man's land, but this is like the transition. So, oh, let's snag this over here on the right. The Mobile County Public School System Home Office. There's a huge building. Now that building used to be QMS. QMS Printers was started by uh, a guy in his garage in Mobile, went all over the world, global, publicly traded, amazing company. I think it probably got sold a couple times or whatever. But anyway, so this road in this section of Schillinger, you know, you've got some used car lots, some different things, some neighborhoods, but you're actually on the way from Mobile to another town or city, should I say, called Sims. That's S-E-M-M-E-S. And this is a thriving area. A lot of folks are moving out to Sims. And the best way to get there is take Schillinger Road. It'll take you to Sims super fast. And we made it. We made it to Sims. And this is a very busy intersection. Uh, there's a super Walmart here, Arby's, McDonald's, Burger King. But there's one thing that Mobile has plenty of. It's Walmart and chicken. No shortage in that department. So if you look down on the right, you'll see Yellowhammer Coffee my favorite coffee place started by my good buddy. And then you look over here to the left and it's hiding behind this Holly's Pawn Shop, but Fusakli's Chicken. Once again, making an appearance in West Mobile, the best chicken place. Okay, so we're crossing over Moffett Road and Moffett Road is also Highway 98. And it runs from I-65 all the way out to Mississippi. That's a very, very busy intersection. But as you can see, you got some new construction going on here. Yep, we got a church. This road that we're on now, it actually connects with 158, which takes you to Sarah Land. So this, they've just recently four lane this with a turn lane in the middle. And anytime you do that, I wanna stress this, when you see that happening, you know there's something going on. So now think about this. 
If you are on I-65, headed south, then you can take exit 13, Sarah Land, take that exit, connect, take 158 all the way, Schillinger, and this goes all the way back where we just left, the, the Theodore Dawes Road, it takes you all the way to I-10. So you can bypass a lot of interstate if you want to take the back roads, Schillinger's it. Now, one thing you'll notice as we're getting out in this area, you'll see more manufactured homes. Uh, but I think a term that most people are gonna use is trailers or mobile homes. And we're getting ready to cross over a pretty busy street called Lot Road. But the problem is you can't say Lot Road. You gotta use the proper um, accent. So this is Lot Road. We're getting ready to cross over it and uh, heading on our way to Sarah Land. And there it is, there's the curve, Highway 158. Uh, this will connect you to Sarah Land. So I guess technically Schillinger stops and this is where 158 begins. And I can't forget off of 158, you have the University of Mobile down here, but this takes you all the way into Sarah Land. Now I will definitely be doing another video about Sarah Land, it is booming, but there's a sheriff coming up on my left, so we're gonna cut it short. And that does it, just to wrap up the tour of Schillinger. Now, I was gonna go back to Briquettes and wrap up there, but I decided, you know what, I gotta eat lunch. And what better place to eat than Fusackley's, my favorite chicken finger place. But that's the tour of all things Schillinger Road. Now remember, it's not Schillinger's with an S, it's singular, Schillinger. That's a sure way to tell the locals from the folks who are from out of town. So be sure and like and subscribe. I mean, I love hearing from folks who are making the transition or considering moving to Mobile. Any questions you have, call the number on the screen, shoot me an email, text message, and like I always say, if you want me to shoot a video that I haven't covered, well, let me know, I'll be happy to do that. I may shoot you a custom video to show you an area that I haven't covered yet. But go ahead and like and subscribe, because when you do that, you get notified, because I'm dropping new videos every single week. But now, it's time to eat lunch, so I'll see you later.